it is very tricky to tell somebody that take this path or look that I am on this path and you also can benefit from this path. So go ahead and jump into the path. So as we know, there are many, many kinds of paths belonging to many traditions, many cultures, um, as many paths are there as there are these teachers. So what is my way of prescribing a path? As most of you already know that I prefer to start with self-evaluation. You cannot simply choose a path like you choose some item in the supermarket. It is a kind of hidden trial. It's a waste of time and energy and effort. So what I recommend is do a little bit of self-evaluation. It is A path is like a medis- medicine, isn't it? The problem is ignorance mostly. And... Uh, Or you want to achieve something, you want to get something. Usually a newcomer will want to get something initially instead of losing everything that is not so appealing to the newcomer. It is okay, no problem because you know you will need to start somewhere. So get something. You want to get uh, good health, you want to get good mind, you want to get rid of suffering, you want happiness, you want success in life. You want uh, supernatural powers, you want extraordinary experiences, whatever it is, no problem at all. But you will need to tell me that I want this. If you simply say, I I tell me my path. And it's kind of, I'm also hitting in dark now, unless I am a mind reader or something. So it is like um, going to a doctor and asking for, please tell me cure. Now the doctor is going to stare at you because... Tell me what is the problem. Tell me what is the affliction. Then I'll prescribe a cure. So a path is like a cure. You want to meditate because you want something. Because you want to get rid of something. You want to worship a deity because you want something from deity. Or at least you can say, I love that thing and that's why I'm worshipping it. It is, there must be a reason somewhere. Otherwise, what can anybody prescribe? What is there to prescribe if you don't want anything? So usually people do not even know what they want. And that is why I recommend do your self-evaluation. If you have a guru with you, if there is a guru nearby, you can go and ask, please tell me where I am, where do I stand on the um, ladder of evolution so that I can take up some practice at least. I don't even know where to start. I don't know what I want. So you can go to the nearby teacher. It does not matter on what path the teacher is. Usually the teacher will say, okay, come and join me and, you know, look, look around for a while, spend some time, spend a few months with me and slowly you will get an idea. You will get the clarity to decide on a path. So you see, now I have two or three options for you. Uh, First is you do the self-evaluation that will clear it up which path is most suitable for you. Second is you need to tell, you need to express your wish. Third is you can go to a teacher, spend some time with the teacher, any teacher, nearest teacher to you. And the fourth is that you go to the teacher and ask for a self-evaluation if you cannot do it yourself. That will not be self-evaluation. That will be only an evaluation So how to do the self-evaluation? We'll start from that. And fortunately, we have uh, um, a long discussion on this matter. So there are two or three episodes of podcast that discuss this um, whole technique of self-evaluation. Anybody can do it. Anybody. And with the the technique, with the method of self-evaluation, I have suggested the suitable path. It is a good start, I must say. It is a good start. If you, because you are evolving entity, so there will be um, changes as soon as you take up any path, the mind changes and the path also changes with it. So you will need to self-evaluate frequently and in spiritual field, frequently means at least once or twice a year. (laughs) You don't need to do it every day. It's uh, not useful. So it is like a school where they take exams, which is like evaluation, how much you have progressed, how much you have learned in the school. 
So if you have progressed a little bit, you will pass the exam and then they will teach you more. That means they will admit you to the next class, next standard. Something like this. The path will keep changing. And uh, where to start? Obviously, you, you cannot start at the college level. Usually, people start with the nursery, <laughs> KG level. So there, sit down, breathe and watch your mind. From there, they start. If uh, it is not clear what should I do, then you should have a little bit of faith. You see, faith is a bad word, but if you don't do not know anything and still wish to be on a spiritual path, then blind faith. You see, go ahead, hit in the dark. What else can you do? Because I can give you a long lecture on which path does what. Probably you are not going to understand even one word of that. It is like taking a young child, two-year-old, and telling the child, look, this is what we learn in physics. This is what we learn in chemistry. This is what we learn in biology, biochemistry, neurology. Is he going to understand anything? No. A, B, C, D. Probably he does not even understand ABCD also. You know, He takes it on the blind faith, repeats the ABCD after the teacher. That's how we start. <laughs> so that's why I'm recommending that uh, either go to the self-evaluation uh, audios, re audio recordings, the podcast episodes, and give it a try. Evaluate yourself. Even half evaluation will be okay. And uh, if that is also not satisfactory, go to the nearest teacher join the teacher, whatever resonates with you, whatever you like, you know, if your nearest teacher is in some kind of odd and uh, strange kind of practices and you don't like, don't, don't go there, then find somebody whom you like, the nearest one, start there, get a feel of what, what happens there, do not commit blindly. So if you know what is going, what is happening there, there is no need to um, take on that path blindly. If you do not, then blind faith. If you do not know what is going, what is happening there, then it will be a faith-based thing to do. So that is the answer to the question, what is my path? And ultimately the path will choose you. A human mind does not have the intelligence to choose the path. I am telling you my story actually. So I went through so many, you know, uh, like supermarket of uh, traditions. I tried many, many. And then one day I settled on something. I do, I'm not, I'm never sure where I'm settled actually. That is the characteristic of a seeker, that uncertain, always uncertain. Because if you settle, if you commit, that means your progress has stopped there. Who knows where, where the paths go? Who knows what can you find on which path? Who knows if uh, your assumption that I have to settle here is only an assumption? Who knows that there is a better thing to do, better path to take up always? So it is an open-ended thing, but slowly you settle down, just like a um, bouncing ball. It, it bounces up and down a little bit, but then settles down at one corner somewhere. So this is how it happens in the spiritual thing. It will never be the case that uh, you will find a path and that will be the final for you forever. It is kind of very ideal thing to be. And it is. it will never be the case that you ask somebody, it does not matter how big that person is, it does not matter how much knowledge that person has. And if he says, look, X, Y, Z path, you take it, that is for you. It is not certain that that will be for you. Nobody can tell you what is your path. The path tells you to pick itself. It sounds like very mysterious. This is how it is. At least that is my experience. You will need to go through a few paths. There will be effort initially. And uh, obviously the most natural path is where there is no effort. <laughs> With the pathless path, the direct path. So I am assuming that I have settled down on a pathless path right now. But who knows? Never be so sure. Never be so certain. This is an open-ended thing. Spiritual journey. Knowledge is infinite. Progress is infinite. Can you say, I cannot progress beyond this? Can you say like this? How do you know? It's not possible to know. It is an open-ended thing. So start somewhere. Start at a good place. Start some, somewhere which you like. Do not use the intellect so much. It is like art. 
you try things you try many many things and sometimes you like something and then you find more things to try you see everything is like this in our lives isn't it for example the relations we keep trying you know, some will get somebody or sometimes you settle okay probably i'll never get into a relation which is better than this so we have this kind of faith or assumption sometimes or your job or your business we keep trying different jobs different kind of businesses and ultimately we settle on something which we like and we are earning a little bit but we keep it open <laughs> we do not say i am going to do only this and this for the rest of my life no that is not an intelligent thing to do we keep looking for more opportunities always it is like this in all the um, domains of our life and spiritual teachings spiritual traditions and uh, spiritual path is nothing special it is not fixed for one person some people have may have this idea no i was born in this tradition so it's gone now it my all options are exhausted i have no freedom to get out of this tradition i will stick to it no matter what and if somebody tells me your tradition is boring your tradition is foolish i'm going to kill that person and continue on my path so this is hard headedness this is stupidity so open mindedness open to all possibilities this is how a seeker is always seeking so do not settle